Yawarat, or Chinatown, Bangkok, is known by the locals and tourists as a street food paradise. There is a variety of food throughout the day, such as seafood, roasted chestnut, barbecue and pork satay, roasted squid, Chinese and Thai desserts, fresh fruits and juices. In this video, I will show you some of my favorite street food that you should try once when coming to Bangkok. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Odin Crab Wonton Noodle or Bami Gampu Odin. It's only 3 minutes walk from Chinatown Gate and opens every day from 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. There are noodles, dim sum, fish mal soup, dessert, and herb juice. The prices start from 55 to 500 Thai baht. And this is the most expensive one. It's noodle with a large crab claw. But if you are a budget traveler, you can order the cheaper menu. This one is noodle with prawn, wonton, and crab meat, selling at 75 Thai baht, which is an affordable price. This is noodle with small crab claw, selling at 150 Thai baht. If you order the dried noodle, the shop will provide you the soup in a separate bowl. Look at the size of the crab claw. The crab meat is so fresh and it's worth for the money. Blang Nam Chicken Rice or Kaman Gai Blang Nam. It's located on Blang Nam Road where it's only one minute walk from the MRT Wat Mangot station. It opens from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. only. Tables and seats are quite limited so you should come early to avoid the busy time at noon. For menu, there are chicken rice, rice with crispy and barbecue pork, and pork blood soup. Chicken rice is selling at 60 Thai baht, and it's perfect. The chicken is so tender, the rice smells so good, I could smell the garlic from the rice. The dipping sauce is sweet and tasty. Rice with crispy and barbecue pork is selling at 60 Thai baht. It is topped with a sauce which has a roasted peanut aroma. I love the pork blood soup very much. The soup is so clear and tasty. The pork offal is well prepared. They are tender and smell good. Blang Nam Pork Stay or Mu Stay Blang Nam. It's located on Blang Nam Road. It's not far from Blang Nam Chicken Rice. It opens from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Only from Friday to Sunday. Pork Stay is selling at 9 baht per skewer and the bread is selling at 5 baht per slice. This job is really famous so I suggest you to come on the daytime. If you come in the evening, you may have to wait for one hour. Pork stay is well marinated. The meat is tender. The taste of coconut cream is rich. Ai Wan Yen. This shop opens from 9:30 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. and closes on every Monday. There is a big picture menu hanging in front of the store, from number one to number nine. This is menu number three. Mixed dessert with yellow noodles served in syrup, selling at 40 Thai baht. This is menu number 6, which is similar to number 3 but replaced the syrup with milk, selling at 40 Thai baht. Gai Gao Grilled Squid or Nong Gai Nong Klao Tamuk Ya. This is the highlight of Yawarat, I would say. The shop opens from 5 30 pm to 1 30 am and closes on every Monday. Look at the pile of the squid. You should arrive at the shop around 4 45 pm before the shop opens. 
it could take at least 30 minutes in the line before you could order the food. Once you pay the money, the shop owners will give you the receipt to get the squid in one hour. They will gradually use the firewood to roast the squid for you. This is what you will see around 6 o'clock. The Chinatown is packed with people. You will have to go back to the shop and show the receipt to get the squid. So don't lose the receipt. This is grilled squid tentacle selling at 100 Thai baht per skewer. The squid is perfect. I could smell the smoky aroma. The dipping sauce is sweet. It's not as spicy as it looked. Atu Shark Fin Shop or Yetu Mushala Yowara. This shop opens from 4 pm to 2 am every day. The seats are quite limited, so you have to wait in the line before you get the table. There are both Thai and Chinese cuisine available. This is a small fish mall soup. It is served in a hot pot, so you have to be careful not to hurt yourself. They will give us the fresh bean sprout. What we have to do is to put it in the bowl and then mix it. There are so many menus that you should try, such as spicy tom yum, fried rice, shark fin soup, and other seafood. Look at the crab meat and the fish mall. It is so yummy, isn't it? This one is fried rice noodle with pork and Thai mimosa. It opens from 7 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. and closes on every Tuesday. There are only two flavors to choose, the sweet flavor and the salty flavor. Texas Suki. It opens from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. This restaurant has a parking space inside the building and accepts the credit card. There is toilet available for the customers and a playground for the kids. There are so many tables and meeting rooms available for the VIP customers. The menu is varied from the Chinese to Thai dishes side dishes and desserts. For suki, you can choose any kind of meat and vegetable as you like, and then boil it. This is how we prepare the dipping sauce. We add the garlic to the dipping, a bit of the chili, Lime juice as you like. Then mix it together. I love the fried prawn wrapped in the pastry very much, so you should try. It. 
they also have the dessert. This is lotus seed with the milk. Going for the bat. So delicious. Hope you enjoy my video. And these are few tips before coming to Chinatown. Research and plan your trip before you go, so you will save the time and try different type and kind of food. Go early and get in the line before other customers, so you won't waste the time waiting in the line. Go with friends, so you can buy from different shop and then share the dish later. That would help you save the time. Bring small bank note, so it would help you save the time for paying and waiting for the change. If you don't have time to plan for your trip and have no friend to go with, it's fine. Just explore my description below. I already provide the location of the restaurant in this video, or you can book a tour from a trusted agency that I provided. See you in the next video.